Hi, Sternberg Outdoors. Uh, it is the January 24th, and I just finished a long week of school, and I decided I would head up to our off-grid cabin just to check on things, um, see how it's it's been wintering, and I am just about ready to pull in. Um, thought it might be fun to kind of show you the uh, the setup um, and how we get things going uh, when, we, when we come to our cabin. Um, we're just pulling in right now. I have a buddy of mine who's been who's been taking care of the driveway to keep that open and looks like uh, he's done that. Done a nice job with that. And uh, just the hope is that we don't have uh, anything big on the cabin. And it looks like uh, we have some shoveling to do. Um, we'll show you how we set this thing up here in a minute. So, we have not been here since the last week of weekend of deer hunting. And uh, yeah, they've got uh, got some snow here. I guess first order of business is going to be to uh, take the old shovel and figure out a way to get in the door. Uh, whoa! So I see deck now. Been shoveling. I don't know. Fifteen minutes. I'll let you know when we get in. Okay. Twenty minutes or so. We got a path now. Gonna open up the cabin. See what we find. Sam's in. Things uh, look to be in good shape. Got a couple of mice. We will uh, get a fire going here and we will uh, check back in in a minute. fire going here. This is jet black, no lights. Let's see what happens here. Once I get the heat going, I can uh, go dig out the generator, get the gas on to the second part, and we should be uh, ready to roll. So. There we are. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. We gotta go up there. There's normally a path here. I mean, you can see I'm buried in snow. I'm gonna get up there and that's the generator. So, Ugh. here we go. So this is, this is our propane. You can see our tanks there. They connect into that piping into the, the porch. I'm gonna try to reach in and just uh, get that valve here. So this is the heat source in our porch. Oh. Oh, 
Put that heat up in here. And then we're gonna, Sam already had his supper. And then we're gonna settle in, read a book, sit by the fire and just relax. It's good to be home. So we're uh, we're at the the Northwoods cabin, and we settled in last night. I uh, got that fire going, and got to the generator, and that was great. And today we are uh, we're gonna go back and explore a little bit, me and Sam, um, see what it looks like at this time of year. So we're <clears throat> we're back on the on the county property that attaches to ours, and we're working. We're walking on a logging road that is normally the size of a four wheeler that they have cleared, pushed the snow out of the way because um, they're logging back here. There's there's about a thousand acres back here the county is county tax for tax forfeit land that this time of year is, is really pretty much just ours we're the only people that are around and even during the heat of it of hunting uh, there's very low pressure it's one of the reasons we we bought the property um, it's really awesome back here. Sam loves it. I'm not sure how far we'll go here, but it's a gorgeous day today. It's a January gift. I think it's January 25th, maybe. It's it's almost 30 degrees and no wind. dead quiet except for my dog it's pretty awesome so we walked back in here a little bit and stuff has changed dramatically um, this is now all been cleared this is probably 120 160 acres if you look you can see some of the implements, you can see some of the skitters and the logging stuff, but this was all continuous forest. And back behind this is now just a big ridge that I th there's a slough back over here that I, th I think is going to just be phenomenal deer hunting. There's an old stand back here. Um, I'm gonna mark this one on the map for sure um because now this is accessible with with a four-wheeler as opposed to before you, you just couldn't get in here so pretty good news so 
So, so what we did with the wiring on this cabin, we uh, we wired it to run off a generator. And so outside the cabin, there is a 30 amp plug that comes in with a breaker there. Um, we did another video on the wiring of this cabin and, and you know, clearly, clearly I'm, I'm no expert. Um, and, and, and this is intended to, to run off the generator only. Um, so we have a 30 amp plug that comes from the generator, which then goes to the outside of the cabin that has its own breaker on it. Um, and then it comes to this, this panel and then we have it literally just, um, attached to a series of outlets. Um, we have outlets. We have, we have, I think we have three, three breakers on here. One that runs the outside, um, of the, of the basement or of the, the main room right here. And then we have one that runs, um, the loft and then one that runs the, um, porch. Um, and it's worked really well. We run, I have a remote that literally starts and stops the generator, which is super handy. Um, we've had this generator for five years and, and a, it's just a Cabela's generator and it's been phenomenal. Um, and inside here, we're able to run a toaster oven. We're able to run a microwave, a fridge, um, all the outlets. Um, we heat, oh, we have TV still too. And we heat with, um, the wood stove um, that has a circulation fan on it that's that's got a built-in battery. And then um, we have supplemental propane, which we have here. And then we also have that out here in in what used to be our screen porch, but we, we converted this to, to Four Season uh, two years ago. Um, but that heats this independently. We have 100-pound tanks outside that heat that. Um, and all of this has been done self-contained i mean this is this is something that, that that we did ourselves um because we wanted to create um a place to come to hunt um to fish in the summer and we wanted it to be to be a little bit harder um and it's not very hard we have a composting toilet out back we have a well that we dug last year um two years ago uh, sandpoint well which is all the all the water we'll ever need and um and yeah, that's that's kind of our setup. Uh, we built this. I built this with the help of some friends, um, but in large part, it's been done uh, with just our family, um, and it's a great place for us, um, and it's a great place to to escape to. So the backstory is uh, we bought this property about four years ago from. Uh, and a buddy of mine um, brought me the money to to get going on this so I didn't have to chase through a bank. And it was a guy who who had kind of spent lots and lots of years up here on Lake Wabado, which is literally just right there, right there. And when this property came available, he said, Daniel, you got to have it. And... Uh, and he's a guy who who just impacted my life a lot, and he he passed away a couple of days ago. So, um, yeah. So so I just I kind of came up here this weekend just to to dig in and and to give honor to a guy who impacted me. And Kenny, we love you, and. Uh, I'm glad your pain's over.